So I have a really cool um, restore project. And here is an old meat cleaver. This thing weighs a ton. Um, but this was uh, my uncle's meat cleaver. He was a professional butcher. He's still alive, but he's retired. And this was out in a shed in his backyard for probably more than 30 some odd years. And obviously, this ended up breaking. Um, but what I want to do is I want to restore this. I want to put it back together. And granted, I'm going to have to weld this. And it's probably not going to look fantastic in this area. But who really cares as long as I have a functioning meat cleaver. And it's interesting because I see writing and stuff on this. Like right up here in this. But I have no idea what it really says or anything. And we're going to end up removing this old wood. And we'll put a new, new piece on there as well. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get some of this dirt off. Look at that grain. This thing was hardened like a mother humper. But that's exactly why the thing broke. Is because of the because of that grain pattern means that this thing it, it was quenched and when it quenched man it just solidified um, so that's really hard but I'm gonna end up um, welding that and um, when I do um, the heat from the weld should make this where it's not as is not as brittle I'm gonna I think take off this uh, wooden handle. And I think the easiest way for me to do this, honestly, is just put this against the uh, belt sander and uh, take off both sides and it should just kind of pop off. So let me do that. So I went ahead and I took the uh, uh, belt sander to the tops of these guys to try to make it where I can kind of separate it. And... Um, one side came off with no problem, and of course this one its not cooperating as well. It's kind of crazy, there's still an edge on this fucking thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to the belt sander and I'm going to try to even a lot of this stuff out and, and back here try to even it out so that way it's, it's harder to see that there was a crack there and I'm pretty sure that this weld is going to end up holding. So I've went ahead and I've sanded this um, as much as a rust off as I could on both sides. Um, I'm not really concerned about making this look like a mirror. Um, don't really think it's really important. Just trying to get the majority of the rust off. I took it to the buffer to try to take, give it a little bit more of a polish, but that I think is good enough for what it is. And um, here's five minute epoxy. I went ahead and took some scrap walnut um, and decided oh, that's what I'm going to use for the the handle is walnut. So. And these are actually a little, these handles are just a hair bigger than the actual steel. Because after this gets glued on, I want to take this to the sander and uh, finish shaping it to um, exactly how I want it to be. Um, now that these are kind of compressed on here, let me get a clamp or two. And there we go get a clamp or two make sure that this doesn't shift probably wouldn't hurt for me to put something inside this hole to keep it inside there to make sure it doesn't shift maybe like a couple of drill bits or something that's not bad I can always take a another bit and uh, drill through not using a, a wood bit not um, not a um, uh, brad tip brad point 
um, but a uh, steel drilling bit to kind of do what I got to do inside that hole. I don't even know for sure what I'm going to put in there. I don't have any brass. Um, who knows? We'll see what happens. But I'm going to try to get all this um, epoxy off of these drill bits so I can use them in the future. That was pretty good. So, not spending too much time on this. I still don't know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave these open for now. But, um, I haven't decided yet exactly how I want to go about finishing that up. Um, it's not really that important, honestly. But, I'm going to use uh, tongue oil on the handle here. So, this should um, look pretty nice and protect it well enough. And I'm going to say that that's probably going to be good enough. Let me make sure I got the other side. Okay. So I'll set this somewhere and let it kind of set up and then from there I can go ahead and I can clean this. Um, even with that oil on there, I'm not really worried about it with my hands and stuff, but even with that oil on there, this actually feels pretty good in my hand. This, this has got a nice solid surface. You know, it's not, you know, I mean, if I, if I, spent, if I spent some time sanding and sanding and sanding and then buffing and everything oh I could make this look real nice but you know quite honestly what's what's the point I mean really um, this was something that was sitting out in a garage for like 30 years so um, I just need it to be clean enough that no one's afraid to use it in the kitchen that's all I uh, took some of the chips out of the edge and put a, a slight edge on here. I don't want it to be too sharp right now. Um, but that should be pretty good right there. I mean this is still plenty sharp right now. Um, that's sharp. I mean this will definitely go in through somebody's skull, all right? Um, but actually that's a lot sharper than I really wanted it to be. Um, but I didn't really want this to be super sharp because I'm planning on taking this back to Arizona and giving it to my uncle since it was really, it's, it was his. And it was in his garage for years and years and I figured why not just give it back to him. It's a nice, it's a nice cleaver. The thing's really heavy. Um, I mean this thing feels like it's about a pound and a half. I mean this thing is really heavy. But like, you know, I mentioned earlier, he was a professional butcher and uh, this is what they used you know back in the shop so you know they're not going to use crappy cleavers I'm not even sure how expensive something like this was um, Fulton brand made by Foster Brothers 1190 I don't know but this this thing's heavy and um, before I put the handle on I took a, a piece of maple and I was just hitting it and chopping it to test to make sure that my my weld worked and it did so I'm gonna call this good guys I still don't know what I'm gonna do here but um, that's that I'll probably put another coat of oil on the handle um, maybe in a day or so and then call it good got a cleaver so that's that nothing too impressive nothing too great you know didn't make it all polishy and I know that's what everybody wants to see they want to see the mirror image you know from an old rusty thing you can do it if you want to spend the time I ain't got the time you know and this is going to cut and do just as good looking like this than if I could use this to you know as a mirror so anyway that's that until next time guys talk to you later